and welcome back to the Stingray Giveaway Gladiator Build Series. And today we're going to be talking lights. Here in the Pacific Northwest, it gets dark fast this time of the year. No better time than to add some lights from Rigid Industries to, well, bring some light to the darkness. Now we've already got these installed, so let's hit that rewind button and show you how it's done. Now for the parts that come in the kit, you've got your 10 inch adapt light bar, the mounting brackets, the light control pad, your main wiring harness, the secondary wiring harness, and your adapt control module. Now, like with most off-road lighting, we have a full wiring harness to install. You have your leads that go over to the battery, then the leads that go down to the light itself. With this adaptive series, we have our lead that goes to the control module. And then we also have our S-Pod Bantam X. And the reason we have this is so that we can eliminate a lot of the wiring and control our accessories from that Bantam X touchscreen. So we're gonna do a little wiring and simplify things. We wanted that rigid light control pad front and center. So we pulled out the center climate control module, made a little L bracket out of aluminum. We then secured the control pad to the aluminum bracket with some 3M double-sided tape. Then routed the control pad wire lead behind the dash to the panel under the steering column. For the control module wiring, we only needed the red wire on the accessory plug. We then plugged in the control pad plug and lastly, the black and white wire to the light bar plug. We then coiled up the excess control pad wiring and zip tied the control module to the support plate under the steering column. Connect the white data wire from the control module to the white wire from the light bar. Then connect the red and black wire from the control module to the same S-Pod terminals as the light bar. That's it when running an S-Pod. Easy peasy. To add to our lighting, we're gonna throw on a set of rigid 360 four inch LEDs. Now to install the brackets, you wanna turn the light upside down. We're gonna grab the two nylock nuts and drop them right down into these little pockets. And then these brackets go on. And these little screws take a 764 hex bit. And then on goes the stainless mounting bracket. The Grim Off-Road A-Pillar Light Bracket Kit comes with hard anodized aluminum mounting brackets, hard anodized pedestals, and stainless steel hardware. These brackets mount to the top two bolt locations for the cowl corners. Mount the lights to the brackets. 
remove all four bolts and remove the cowl corners. Route the light wiring under the cowl corner. Insert the grim pedestals and bolt the grim bracket into place with the supplied hardware. Make sure to use a little medium strength Loctite on the hardware. Wire in the A-pillar lights and connect to the S-pod. Reinstall the S-pod cover and label the circuit with the legend of your choice. Now let's go over these lights. The Rigid Adapt XP light bar is unlike any other light bar on the market. Not only does it have some wicked looks, but it also offers eight different light beam patterns for a narrow 15 degree spot all the way out to a 90 degree flood. Now to operate our light bar, we want to trigger it on the S-Pod and then that's going to give the backlight on the control pad. We can hit our spot button and that's going to bring up our spot beam. Now as we start hitting our flood button, it's going to work its way all the way out until we hit a full flood. And of course, you can work your way back in and stop halfway point, whatever works for the light you need at that time. Now, if you happen to have the GPS module, this is your adapt button, push that, and then it'll adjust the lights automatically according to the speed that you're running. And then for the backlighting, the ultimate poser lights, we're gonna push that top center rigid button and it's gonna come on and it shows you what color you have it set currently at. By pushing that button and holding it three seconds, it's gonna flash. And now it's gonna slowly change. Going through that full spectrum of RGB light. Once you get to the light you wanna run, you can then hit that button again and lock it in place. The Rigid Industries four inch 360 series LED lights output 8,600 raw lumens of light. They feature a rugged aluminum body and are available in a spot, driving, or flood beam pattern. Now we're going to go with the driving beam pattern to help light up the ditches and give us a little more fill over that 10 inch light bar. For A-pillar lights, I like to use them as a ditch light, angling them out slightly to better light up the sides of the trail. Are you ready for some lights for your off-road vehicle? If so, we'd encourage you to take a closer look at the Rigid Industries line of high-performance lights. You'll find links down in the description box below. While you're down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and then hit up the comment section let us know. What do you think about this super trick Adapt XP 10-inch light bar and those 360 series 4-inch lights we've got on the A-pillars? We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.